What's up, my Koop Troop? It's Koops, and welcome to an episode of Noko Noko News. We've got a long list of updates to cover. I'm sorry I've been gone from the channel for so long. That's essentially what this whole video is going to revolve around, where I've been, what's been going on, what the future plans are for the YouTube channel going forward. So that is really what I wanted to cover. This might be a bit of a heavy video. There's going to be some personal subjects for me that have been really hard for me to talk about but I wanted to sit down and discuss them in a little bit more detail and I've been a little bit running away from them but I think as a content creator and someone in a little bit of the spotlight it's really important for me to talk about these issues and so I think it's important that I I sit down and do this and so without further ado let's get the party started so where have I been? Well, let's start way back at the beginning. So last two years, I've actually lived in Washington, D.C. in the United States, for those of you that don't know. And I moved up there um, to be with my now ex-girlfriend. But I was living there, and uh, I brought my YouTube stuff up there and was hoping to just work and do the YouTube. But... I was not prepared for the cost of living. Now, for those of you that don't know, I've been doing YouTube for a long time. It's it's been about um, it's been about ten years now that I've been doing YouTube stuff, and it's always been a passion project, a hobby. It's never made a lot of money for me. I'm not one of those multimillionaires. It doesn't even make like a minimum wage type job. It's just something I do for fun. Um, and I brought all my stuff up there to work on it, and you know. The YouTube stuff worked in cheaper locations, but it didn't work in DC. The cost of living was crazy high, rent was crazy expensive, everything was too much for me. And just to live up there, I started having to draw out of my savings. I had saved up money when I lived in cheaper areas like in Georgia and when I lived over in Taiwan. And so to withdraw money out of my savings account just to pay my rent, you know, is not is not good. That was really stressful. And I, I actually have a finance degree, so I know a little bit about money. And you don't need a finance degree to know that you shouldn't be withdrawing savings account money to pay for your <laughs> pay for your rent. It's not good. And so it put me into a really stressful situation where I was working YouTube, but it wasn't paying nearly enough money. So, like you need to do, I eventually got another job, and I was working at a restaurant. But unfortunately, restaurant plus YouTube still wasn't anywhere close to the amount of money I needed to make to pay for it all. And obviously, with a restaurant job, that still was only... I was doing about 36 hours or whatever about at the restaurant job, but... That still was not nearly enough money. So two jobs, and I did. I was still doing about 20 to 30 hours at, at Kuba Kung Fu. So now you're looking at 70 or so plus hours, and I was not even, I still wasn't even close, guys, to be honest with you. The stress after two years of financially running myself into the red really took its toll on me. Um, put a big strain on my relationship, and... Ultimately, I um, fell into a pretty deep depression over the financial burden. I was real—I'm really passionate about YouTube, and I love doing it as a hobby. And I wanted it to be kind of my main job, but at the same time, I always knew it's not really a career thing for me because it doesn't pay the bills. It's not really a great long-term solution. I can't see myself doing YouTube forever nor do I necessarily want to dedicate my entire life to doing it, but I really do enjoy doing it. I just needed, you know, maybe it's just me being lazy, but I just wanted to make it somehow work out, you know? Um, but it wasn't working out, right? Like, I couldn't pay my bills, and so that's not, you can't live, you can't pay your bills. And so the, the stress really got to me, and um, it's a pretty unusual situation when... You're a 28-year-old guy like I was at the time, and you're just this stressed out. And this is what I meant. This is what I wanted to talk about, that stress hits everyone in different parts of their life. And it's not like I'm a unique or special special situation. I Everyone, like I said, has their own issues, and I actually wasn't—I don't have any— 
real like ever how do I how do I put this everyone has their own problems in life and I don't want to belittle other problems or say mine are harder or say mine are less difficult than other people because everyone has their own situations you know I don't have these kind of problems but I did have this kind of problems that type of thing but for I just couldn't I didn't know how to express my my pain with this I didn't know how to deal with all this stuff um and healthy or not I ended up turning to cutting and this is where it kind of gets a little heavy right so I know this is why I want to talk about it because this isn't a light subject and I'm not going to be the one to tell you do or don't do things but I think anyone would sit there and tell you guys that cutting is not healthy I don't think anyone uh, anyone should tell you that it's a healthy mecha uh, mechanism for coping it is what a lot of people do and it is what I did for a little while because it does help release endorphins to help you deal with the pain at least temporarily um, it gets you through the situation but it's a short term solution and Ultimately, I tried going to therapy afterwards. Therapy didn't really work for me. Uh, the only way I ended up getting through my situation was a change of scenery. I needed to get out of DC and get out of the expensive scenario and move to someplace cheaper and find a different job and start taking control of the financial situation. That was what started solving my problem and I'm not going to even say I'm in the clear yet but that's what helped me um, it's a little hard for me to talk about and the only reason and it's not like I'm embarrassed but I am because you know everyone has like I said their own issues but I feel like I'm supposed to be strong and get through these things and I've got a lot of friends and a lot of people that look up to me and they're doing well, but then I, and I feel like I should be able to do fine on my own. But then I thought about it and the more I thought about it, the more I said to myself, you know, there's a lot of people out there that do look up to me or, and maybe are going through similar issues or have problems at school or have problems at home. And it might be nice to hear that we're all human and we're all in this together. And I'm just a normal person like the rest of you guys, you know, and I've got my own issues and I've got my own problems and there might be really minor compared to yours, but I did my own stuff too. As you guys can see, you know, um, it took its toll on me, you know, so um, I'm not necessarily proud of these or anything like that but this is what I ended up doing to myself to get through a situation and I'm not going to go around bragging but I wanted to sh show you guys these because this is who I am this is what I went through and I did to myself to try to get through a difficult part of my life when the bills rolled in and I couldn't afford to pay them you know, and I didn't know where to turn. And so that was a stressful part of my life. And that's what's been really tough for me. But luckily, I was able to, you know, ride out. And this is where I'm really fortunate. And I know not everyone is nearly this fortunate. Um, but I was able to come back home. And my parents have been more than, more than um, I could ask for. And they've been letting me stay to get back on my feet and I was able to find recently a retail job working over at Target and so I've been working at Target during the season seasonal and they let me work a lot of hours during the seasonal so that's why that's why I haven't been uploading to YouTube and that's also probably your next question what the hell happened to your hair <laughs> well I had a normal hair. I had normal hair, longer hair, at the start when I started working in October, over at Target, and I started working long shifts, like um, 
it was normal shifts, six hours, eight hours, but then I started working 12, 15, 16 hour shifts and your hair gets nasty, greasy after long shifts. And I, I, because I was, um, I would keep going, you know, I'd get some haircuts initially. And then I said, you know what, I've got a razor. I'll just, I'll just buzz it off. Um, it's only seasonal work anyways, right? Like I'm working retail and I'm just, uh, getting stuff off a truck and putting it to the sales floor and I might not look great with a buzz cut, but you know, at least I don't have to worry about it. So that's what I did. I went ahead and buzz cut it and I liked it so much I did it again. It, of course it doesn't look great, but it's it's efficient and it's cheap. So I've done it a couple times since then. I'd like to grow it back out uh, at some point, but that's why it is what it is. But since then during seasonal, I worked like 60 to 70 hours most weeks over at Target. So I'm very thankful that they let me work so many hours, but uh, I was obviously pretty dead tired every week. And so that's why I haven't been able to upload much to YouTube. And I just, I just saved all my money I could, tried to pay down my debts that I had accrued from living up in DC. And so that's where I'm still at right now, guys. I'm still working to pay down um, any leftover debts I've got from DC. I've moved back to Georgia. Um, I'm hanging out, just trying to collect my life. It's a little disorganized. Uh, I'm still working at Target. Seasonal is over, but they've decided to keep me on, so I'm very fortunate there. And I am still looking for that next career job. You know, uh, Target is nice and well, but I'd like to find something that I could kind of grow into and do a little bit more, a uh, more standard kind of 40 hours a week target is hit or miss on the number of hours they're giving me now that seasonal's over. But it's been, it's been like 30, 35 or so, 34 hours a week that they're giving. So that's, that's the good news. And now that seasonal is over, I'm not so dead tired. And so that leads us to the next point. Now that the 60 hours is behind us. And now that I'm back at more like 30 hours, where does that put us on YouTube? Well, YouTube has changed a lot since I started doing that a long, long time ago. And I don't really have the drive to do the recordings in the evening and editing and uploading all that stuff. It's just, I don't want to do that. And the reason why is because it doesn't feel worth it in terms of all of the time spent. I actually just really want to play more games. I have... This is a very small section of games behind me uh, compared to what I have. I've got like four more of these shelves just scattered throughout this room of just video games. And I want to play a lot more games. There's been a lot of great games that came out the tail end of 2018 as well as 2019's already had some good games come out. And I have not been able to play them, first off because I was working a lot, and second off just because I've always said to myself, well, I will play them for YouTube. But the issue with that is when you say you're going to play them for YouTube, you never get around to doing it because there's a lot of work that's involved with sitting down, recording, editing, uploading. So my solution is going to be Twitch. I do plan on bringing the streams back to life. And I know I've talked about this before and it's never really happened. And that's me having to make a mentality shift, a mental shift. I have not done that yet. I'm still very much a YouTuber where I sit down and do two to three hours of recording and then edit twitch is a whole different beast and i i admit it i am not a streamer but i need to change and become a streamer i don't have a set schedule so well because of how much work i've been doing at target but as they've started giving me more and more of a, sh a set schedule you know and before i couldn't even say i could stream because they might schedule me for morning shift but then they'd keep me all day and i'd work till late at night but now that's not been happening because they can't keep me all day. So now I could maybe say, hey, I can actually start streaming in the evening. And that's kind of been my upcoming goal is to start having a schedule, start saying, hey, I'm going to stream in the evening and let's start playing some games. And my ultimate goal is I'd love to play some games with you all. Just have some fun on Twitch and then get a highlight video out at least once a week or so on YouTube. Um... I know that's not what I used to do. I know I've always been a Let's Player, but I think the Let's Play format has essentially changed on YouTube. That's not really so much a thing anymore. Of course, there are Let's Players on YouTube, and it still is there. But I think all in all, that's uh, kind of gone 
a little bit and it's not really what I want to do because I just don't have the time to sit and do that. Maybe if that was my full-time job, but like I said, it's always been a bit of a hobby and especially now that that is not where I make any kind of income at all. I, I don't make any money at all from the videos at this point. It is literally pennies and so... There's not really a point in, in spending hours and hours and hours doing the videos because it's just, I, I can't do that anymore. So I think we need to move on from that and I want to just stream. Streaming is not going to make me any money either, but um, it will be fun. Like that way we actually get to play the games and I get to hang out with you guys, which sounds more of what I want to do than doing the YouTube and doing the editing. It'll just be a faster process. Um, and so overall, I think it'll be more worth it. So that is my game plan. If you have never seen the streams, it is twitch.tv slash Koopa Kung Fu, same as YouTube. The atmosphere is a slightly different than the YouTube. They're maybe not um, as clean and polished as YouTube, but I think it's a lot more fun because I interact with the chat a lot more. Obviously, because in YouTube, I'm not interacting with chat. I'm just trying to comment on the game the entire time. But with Twitch, I try to talk to chat as much as I can. I've been working really hard on the Twitch setup. I think it looks pretty clean um, as I've had time off from work, whenever that is. <laughs> I've uh, I've tried to sit down in Photoshop and do some work. I, I'm slowly been getting back into it. So that is, I think, about everything for me. Enob is with me over here in Georgia, and he's been helping me out. He's also got a job, um, and we've he's been working, helping me out too. And so he will be joining me for some streams but we've got different jobs and so our schedules don't match in the slightest but he will be there to help out so that is my game plan going forward guys there still is a lot up in the air i like i said i still am applying for new jobs because i'm still looking for a eventual career path uh, that i would like to find and my target job changes all the time my hours and stuff but i'm getting better getting healthier and if any of you are having any issues, you know, I just want you to let you all know that I'm there for you. I've been there in your situation. You know, um, I think a lot of people think that maybe YouTubers or people are just kind of like either overly dramatic or don't have similar issues. And I think a lot of YouTubers are overly dramatic, but I'm just a normal dude like the rest of you guys and I've got my own issues just like you all have and um, I've been there you know and I've, I've been there and if you guys are having issues just you know know that um, I feel you you know and uh, I'm sorry that if you're going through that stuff and and what hurts me is that depression is something that's really hard for everyone involved because I was I would be sitting on the couch or laying on the couch and I knew that I would need to get up and I knew I would need to apply for a job and I knew I would need to try and do YouTube work um, I knew what I needed to do but I would be so like drained of energy and so lazy feeling that I couldn't do anything and it it brought a lot of stress to my relationship and it brought me down more and it just it just killed me on the inside you know it, it it's like you're sitting there going what are you doing coops what are you doing but you, you couldn't you, you're trying to tell yourself to move but you're not moving you know it's such a weird feeling and people will just say well you just need to kick your ass and get yourself into gear and it's easy to say that and i i know to do that and i'm actually a pretty hard-working guy but, like, depression saps you of all of that energy and saps you of all of that work ethic. So, uh, you know, I, I've I've been there, guys. And so, just want to say I'm looking out for you all, and I hope you're all doing well. Thanks so much for watching this Noka Noka News video. Um, I hope you all continue to support me. I know I will support you all like you've done for me. Thank you so much. I'm really sorry about the long break. I hope I've kind of explained it a little bit where I've been, what's been going on. YouTube will not probably have the cons uh, constant uploads like it has had in the past. It's just not really in the cards for me anymore. I need to focus on making some sort of money to um, fix my current financial situation. And YouTube is not really the way for me to do it. Oh, and I forgot to mention, sorry, this is not... I should have said this way earlier. Sorry about that. 
This is not supposed to be a sob story. Oh, I should mention that earlier. Yeah, this is not a sob story at all. This is just me explaining my stuff, guys. I'm not looking for pity comments. I'm not looking for donations or tips or anything like that. I'm really not. I wanted to explain this stuff, and I wanted to let you guys know that what I'm going through, and I've been there, and I wanted to say this because I know a lot of you all have felt this way too. Um, and so... I wanted to put this out there because I think it's important. You know, in the past, I didn't want to share my own personal experiences in life because a lot of times it feels either like humble bragging or I'm just not the type that, that shares their stuff because, you know, when you go on Instagram and everyone's like, oh, man, look at me. I'm in this like fancy pool or, you know, you have this like fear of missing out, you know, or it just feels like everyone's just bragging about their life and I still feel that way when I look at these posts and stuff and a lot of times when like something like this it's like I don't want to talk about this because I think the majority of you probably have something way more difficult going on in your life than me you, you know I'm just I'm just a easy going white kid with a easy life you know like my life is not difficult I'd be the first to admit that you know I have it really easy all things considered really easy you know I have a good life and so I don't really feel like I have a right to complain and I don't want to sit here and just complain when I have all of these benefits afforded to me in life but at the same time I sat here and thought about it and said um it's okay for me to talk about some of these things because I think it helps when other people can see that there are people struggling like people struggle and you can relate to them you know uh, like we're all human you know we all have our issues and I know there's a lot of things thrown around online and it's hard to communicate with each other but I figured if maybe that I was just one little dot online of goodwill somewhere online that that you could relate to just for one instance of for part of your day like that could maybe help because I've had a lot of people tell me before that I helped them through a tough time and that meant the world to me that someone would take time out of their day to say that and I couldn't you know, it's hard for me to even fathom that because I'm just sitting here playing video games. And so I, I, I said to myself, you know, I need to make this video, even though it's kind of tough for me, because like I said, I don't really go out of my comfort zone to talk about my own personal problems. Um, and this is pretty out there for me. I'm normally not a depressed person. I'm normally happy go lucky and normally really outgoing, but these last two years have been really tough for me and uh, things got really hard and you know it's it's been stressful and it's 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 really taken its toll on me I, you know I, I feel I feel a lot older <laughs> I feel really changed from where I was just even a, even a little while ago and it's hard to explain um yeah, it's. I just feel totally different, and it's. I feel. I, I accept what's happened to me. And I accept where I how I feel, but it's it's still it's still tough. And I just want you to know, like that, I appreciate all your guys' support and everything like that, and it means a lot to me. So, if you're going through anything, just. I want you to know I support you too. So thank you guys. Thanks so much for watching this long-winded video. I it, it means a lot to me. It really does. Um, I'll catch you guys all soon. I uh, hope to see you all in the streams. If you don't mind uh, checking those out, I'd love to have you there. It'd be pretty cool. Uh, just if you follow, then you'll know when it goes live. But it'll probably be evenings likely. Don't know exactly the schedule just yet might make a news video when those really go in full swing but for now you know the plan thank you so much guys much love and peace